Here is a model of Jake's lungs. When inhaling, air enters through the trachea and moves through the bronchi, which branch to form a network of bronchioles. At the end of the bronchioles are air sacs called alveoli. These are covered by blood capillaries. This is where carbon dioxide leaves the blood and oxygen enters it. Looking at the alveoli at the cellular level, you can find the cancer cells and how they multiply. Use the slider and camera button on the top right of the screen to move the camera and change views. Use the bloodstream button to travel in the bloodstream and get a closer look at your nanomedicine in action. Use the slider on the top right to move through the vein. Look at the blood flow and note the body's natural defense cells. Be careful, these may attack your units and cause damage to healthy cells. When a normal cell is damaged, it is programmed to die. This is called apoptosis and is a completely normal process in living organisms. However, when a cell mutates and becomes cancerous, it is unable to undergo apoptosis so it can divide uncontrollably and develop into a tumour. Here we can analyse individual cells, their shape and their surface receptors. Roll over any part of the cell to get more information about it. Use the top right slider to take a closer look. Receptors are found on all cells and they only allow molecules with a corresponding key, also known as ligand, to attach to them. Think of the receptors on the cell as the locks and the ligands that you will place on your units as the keys. Your vesicle will need to have the correct keys that fit in the cancer cell's receptors in order for the drug to be properly dispersed. This is where nanomedicine units are built. These vesicles are the capsules that contain the drug. To create your vesicle, select the ingredients that you will like with the arrows. Then drag and drop the element into the main build area. Once you've created your units, select how many you'd like to create and then use the inject button to administer the drug to the patient. You can't create new units whilst the old units are still circulating in the body. When building your units, consider what you've discovered about the cancer cells and the healthy cells. The clock is ticking. You have to stop the cancer before it becomes metastic and starts to move around the body.